this is Amy with Leap of Faith Crafting and today we are going to continue on with our Cricut Design Space tutorials and this one I wanted to talk about how to get those extra characters um, for your fonts. So a lot of fonts, we went through this in the last video on downloading fonts and where to find them, a lot of them will have these extra characters and glyphs to them that you can use to make um, your words and people's names just a lot more elegant and unique. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I get them. This might be a little bit, people might do it in different ways. This is just what I have found that works and I'm on a PC. So this might be different for a Mac. Um, so what I do is I, um, use what's called a character map. So if I type in character down, the desktop app was this little small one and so you can see this is one of my fonts, Samantha. And if you do the drop down, these are all the ones on your computer. But you can see these are really hard to see, especially for my old eyes. So um, what I found was this um, one called Character Map UWP. And you can just Google it like this and it will come up. It's in the Microsoft Store. So it will look like this and then you can just open it and install it. And this one works great for me because um, this is what it looks like. I have it pinned down to my toolbar here and look how much bigger this is <laughs> and all the stuff you can see. So I like using this one and I can just make it a little bit smaller and move it over. So I'm going to actually change my name into the Samantha font. This one I know has a ton of extra characters. It is a really cute font. It's a paid font. Um, this is, I've only paid for a couple fonts and this was one of them just because it, I love all the extra things that it has. So if I go into the character map and go up and find the A's, say if I wanna make the A a little bit different and the Y. So I'm gonna go up to the A's and you can see they have a ton of different A's here. And I'm just gonna find one that I like and a lot of them are like an English A and then a bunch with accents for different um, for different languages and things so let's see I'm just gonna let's hit that one so then over here you'll see copy character so I'm just gonna hit copy and that copies it, copies it. and I'm gonna come back and double click on my text box so that it opens up and I'm going to delete the A and then I'm going to paste you either control V or right click on the mouse and you will see that pops up right there. So you have to make sure you're in the right font on here. You're using Samantha. If I changed it um, to a different font, it, obviously it wouldn't be that character. It would be a different character. So let's go back and see about the Y's. So I'm going to go down and you can see just how many they have in this font. Um, okay, so here's the Y's. So let's um, find how about this one. <clears throat> so I'm gonna copy this one and again, come back over here, delete that one and paste this. So now to get them together, I'm going to actually ungroup them and then I'm going to move them over. And put them where you want them. So like that. And these, you know, you can even make them a little bit bigger, one of the letters if you want. Okay, and then I'm going to use my cursor and put a box around the whole thing and down on the right side click the weld button so now all the little pieces are welded together so they won't cut come out cut out separately okay so let's try another one let's do hello and let's find a different font that has a bunch of stuff um, Let's see. 
So you can see a lot of them don't have a, a ton like Samantha did, but they'll have these other ones with the little curves and a lot of them will have the, for the different languages. Um, and then the swashes. So if you have something also like a swash or like doodles, this is another way that you can f find out everything that's on there. So like I have, let's see, Amistry. I know is another one of my favorites and this has extras on it. So it has all of these things on it. So I can um, say you want a bear. I'm gonna click on the bear and copy this. And then I can come over and add a new text box and just paste it in here. So that actually, oops, but again, that's how this came up because I'm not in the right one. So now I need to go up and change it to Amistry Extras. And then that will be there. So that, all I had to do was actually type a B for that, but I don't remember all of the, what each of these little doodles is on my keyboard. So this is an easy way to do that. So let's go back and let's try so a lot of the block ones don't have a lot besides the little accents on them so if you need accents that's a great place to find them like here's an arrow crafter so you can come in and see all the different ones again more swashes on here let's find another script font um, okay, so this has a few little curly cues. So let's, so this is Australian script. So I'm gonna copy, let's see where an O is. So right here, I'll copy this. I'm gonna go back and make this Aust Australian script. And again, double click to get inside of the box. I'm gonna delete that one and paste the O there. Um, say you wanted, let's see what the L's look like. Mm, the L might not look good. Or they even have them where they go backwards the other way, which might be fun. So these ones have a lot, so let's see where the H is. So say we want a bigger one. Again, I'm gonna copy um, just by clicking on it. I'm gonna come back here, click in the box, backspace, so I delete it. And then you can use on Control V to paste or probably Command V, um, and that will paste it in there if you don't use a mouse. So now these, are all there so you can use the letter space up here and click it down to move them closer together before you ungroup because sometimes these will move pretty well together so I'm gonna make this bigger so I can really see when these move together Oops, so that went too far. So right there, that one looks good. This one I'm gonna move, I'm gonna ungroup them and move this one a little bit and then move this over there. And you can attach or not attach that one. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put box around just these ones and down here hit the weld button so now this one is all ready to cut out with the swirls so sometimes the extras also have like these ones they have a couple of the letters already together um, I'll show you on the Samantha one actually has a whole bunch of other words down at the bottom so if I come in here, go all the way to the bottom, you can see these has notes, Miss, Monday, you know, all the names of the week, a whole bunch of cute things. So if you hit like from, 
and copy this one. I'm just gonna open up a text. I'm gonna paste it here, but I'm also gonna need to come up here. You'll see that I'm still on Australian script, so that's why that comes up. So I need to change it back. Oh, this was Samantha to Samantha. And now this one comes up already made. So when it's already welded and everything's together, so um, you can rotate this and make it bigger, do however you want. So that's just another way to get, um, to bring in these other special characters to make um, your, your files and your words just a little neater and fancier in Cricut Design Space. If you're doing, like if you're using Illustrator and I think even Inkscape maybe, they have um, already within the program that you can find the, find the extra characters and the glyphs pretty easy. And like I said, if there's another way you do this, in Cricut Design Space and know how to do it without using the character map, um, I would love to know. So, but I like this one a lot and how big it is and it um, makes it makes it pretty easy to find what I'm looking for. So anyway, I hope that helps them and please let me know if you have any questions and if you like the video, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the videos in this tutorial series and my upcoming ones. So have a great day and thanks so much for watching.